Hey, what's up guys? DJ Lefave here and today I'm going to teach you how to get horizontal chat to free up some real estate on your, your live streams and this solution works for Facebook pages, not your personal page, YouTube and Twitch. Now there is already a way to do this for Twitch using stream elements. Uh, Mr. Boost came up with that. There's a ton of videos out there, but this, this feature uses Streamlabs and it also works across all three of the major live stream platforms out there. So let's dive into it. This is uh, going to be hopefully very, very simple for you to follow along. Now, first things first, we're going to use Streamlabs. So Streamlabs, you just have to have an account. We're going to be putting this URL here into your OBS screen. So you're not actually going to be using Streamlabs, although I guess it would work for that as well, but I'm going to show you how to use it in OBS. Now, how did I come up with this idea? Well, I, I've been searching, searching, searching for a way to get the horizontal chat for YouTube live because there, there is nothing for horizontal chat. And I really want to have that place where you free up a lot of real estate and, and it just looks nice. So I came across um, this right here. This is uh, a gentleman or gentlewoman named, uh, let me get, my, get me out of here, uh, Denier. Denier came up with some code to put into Streamlabs chat box to get scrolling sideways uh, chat. Um, so we're gonna build off of that and then I'm gonna show you how to put this all together. So the link in the description is gonna bring you to this page on my website. Kind of walks you through my ideas and how I'm, I'm doing all this. What I also did was I took Denier's uh, code off of GitHub, uh, giving full credit where credit is due, but sometimes GitHub goes away. So I wanted to have a place where it was easy for you to copy and paste and also to have a record of it just uh, just so it's here. But fear not, Denier's uh, code is also gonna be right here. So if you, if you go to this site, you can go to the raw uh, GitHub page in case anything ever changes in Streamlabs. Okay, so first things first, let's go into your Streamlabs. You come into this dashboard here, right? When you get into your dashboard, you're gonna select what streaming platform it is that you're gonna be using. You can log in with your Twitch, with your Facebook, or with uh, your YouTube. I'm going to show you an example today off of YouTube, but it's really uh, across the board the same process. Um, here we go. All right, so you click on all widgets, and that's going to bring you to this page. Then there's the chat box feature right up here. So click on the chat box. That brings you to this page. Okay, so you see how the chat is coming through right now. It's coming through just regular. This is how it will normally look. So if you just copy this URL just as it is, and then you go into, um, into Streamlabs, or into OBS, excuse me. And all you have to do is create a browser source and it brings your chat in, it looks just normal. So the way that that, that works is you just right click, or you, um, you're gonna click on a new scene, you're gonna click the plus button under sources and you're gonna click browser source right there. And you're gonna call this uh, chat and we'll do this one, this is the tutorial version of the chat. So you're gonna paste your URL right here and then the next two steps you wanna do is make your width and height the size of your display. Most people will go with 1920 by 1080. Now, I don't want you to obviously see my, my stream key, even though it's uh, you know not, not an account that I, I normally use. So I'm just gonna copy it and I'm gonna paste it over here um, into my source. And there we go, we click okay. Now um, you'll see that it's, it's Oh, my, my, my sizing was wrong. Here we go. <laughs> Properties. Uh, you see the stream key anyway. Whatever. 1920 by 1080. There we go. 1920 by 1080. I'll go reset that in a moment. All right. So now when I do type chats in here, I'm going I'm to go to my, my display. Chat example. Here we go. And then chat example two. Okay, so now we have our chats coming in through through that feed. And they're coming in, you see they don't come all the way across, they don't fill up the whole screen, but you now have your chat from whatever resource you picked into your OBS. So let's kick it up a notch, eh? Like, uh, like my boy Emerald says, uh, here we go. So in here, you'll, you'll notice that you get a couple of settings to choose from. First off, you can pick your theme, you could pick, pick all this other crap. Um, you leave it all the same just for now. You could toy with it later, but right now let's just get this thing working. So I'm keeping it clean. I got everything else enabled, Put 22 size font for, for the purpose of this display. We're going to always show messages and then that's all the same. Now down here under enable custom HTML and CSS, click on enabled. And then you have three boxes, HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Okay. So those are the three things that we're going to now go back to my website. <clears throat> 
and pick out here. So the first one is HTML. So I'm just going to highlight this text. Oh, no. Let me show you. If you do CSS first, um, it's, it's going to bring it all the way to the left. So if you just wanted to bring your chat all the way to the left, then all you have to do is the CSS portion right here. So we'll go back into our chat box, click on CSS, all, and then control all, control V for paste. And now when you look up here, you see how the chat, it pulled it over to the left. So if we went back into OBS just with that that one that one setting change, now if I do uh, oh I have to I have to hit save changes just so you could see them take place. So to say to have that take effect, you click save changes, and whenever you click save changes, they're going to show up here. Now the way that I'm doing this is I actually have a live stream going on with my burner account. Um, so that's just to bring these things in and be able to show you. Uh, how this all works and they're going to always show up on your OBS screen only on your OBS screen so chat example two so now you see that they're going to be coming in on the left chat example three and you see how they are coming to the left and then they're going upwards and there's there's no truncating right there so let's go back into um, this page right here in your Streamlabs. I'm going to go into my web page and I'm going to grab the HTML code so here is the HTML code right there. Copy that. And then we're going to go back into Streamlabs and click on the HTML tab. Click in the box, hit Control A, and then Control V. Okay. Now we have some HTML applied to it. So now you see that it's starting to come across to the left right there. See how it's just uh, examples coming in and over, in and over. Now, um, oh, look at that. So this is the first time I've only done them step by step, and now you see them just coming in horizontally. So it looks like you don't have to do, <laughs> you don't have to add the JavaScript. I'm going to show you what happens when you do add the JavaScript, and it's it's pretty cool because it gives you a couple of extra options now um, in, in how you want to show your text. So now we're going to click on the portion right here and go on down, and the chat box, j, dot .js, let's go in here, copy that, Go back into Streamlabs and click on the JavaScript portion, Control A, Control V, and when we go back up to the top and see the example, they're going to start stacking on top of each other. Now, the cool thing with this is now you can move it around to different areas on your OBS screen. So that, that is how the chat is going to come in, and it's going to give you three rows of text coming up and down, just like that. So we'll click Save Changes, okay, and now we go strictly back into OBS. So in this tutorial now, I'm going to start typing uh, text, text, text. Oops, spelled text wrong. All right, and then we're going to do some long messages. In YouTube, you get 200. Up to 200 is the length of one chat comment. So we're going to do that right here. And we'll do another, uh, another one that's about 100. There's 100 coming in right there. And one more. And there we go. Uh, so there you go. It's going to start stacking up and up and up. So I, I just found out for the first time that you could just not put that JavaScript in and you get one row and it's easy peasy, nice and clean. Here's the example that I did want to show you though, okay? I did want to show you this. So now you have text on the bottom. So you crop this source down just by holding the Alt button and dragging the top down. Now that text is going away. So now we have just scrolling text on the bottom. I'm going to throw one more line in there, one more line of commenting, and you'll see that it is now coming across the bottom. And this this will work for, um, it's going to work for OBS, I mean for, for Twitch, for Facebook, and for uh, YouTube Live, which is pretty awesome. All right, so the one thing that I recommend at this point is taking, clicking on this source and just uh, hitting left five times. One, two, three, four, five. That gives you a small padding over here on the right side, which is quite convenient. Okay, so now we want to add another browser source, and it's going to be the same one, okay? We're just going to call this Chat Tutorial Top, and we'll say okay, and again, we're going to put that, that URL in there from uh, the old Streamlabs copy it. We're going to paste it and we're going to make sure the width is 1920 and the height is 1080. And now we say okay. So now we have two, two of these coming in. So I'm going to do more more text, more text, more more text and it'll show up on top of it. There we go. And then we'll do a couple longer lines just to to really prove the point here. Okay. There we go.
All right, so we now have two. We have tutor the tutorial one, which is on the bottom, and this one we're going to put on the top. Now, how do we get it on the top? I'm going to show you. Uh, where is it? Oh, we got to wrap it around. Here we go. Oh, 201. Get rid of one space there. There we go. All right, now we're going to show multiple lines, and that is our second second row. Our second row is now coming through. So simply click on this source tutorial top, and we're going to crop that one up to that point, and we will crop it down. We will crop it down. We're going to crop it on down to right there. Okay, and now we're going to put this one at the top of your screen. Again, same thing takes effect. Just do one, two, three, four, five. Give yourself a little bit of padding over there. Makes it look a little bit nicer. So now you have cleared up your space and you have your chats first coming through <clears throat> on the bottom and then you have them coming in on the top. So as I keep on writing on here, uh, what is that, that Latin text? <laughs> we'll just say Latin text. Uh, more Latin text and more and more and more and then... Uh, Geez, this is so awesome. I'm going to subscribe right now. I'm already subscribed. So I will just like and share this video. There we go. So now you're going to see that that the lines are going to be coming. Uh, see that subliminal messaging right there. Make sure you like and subscribe. There you go. It's going to come from the bottom and then it goes to the top. So now you have a, a essentially a chat overlay to throw up on your screen. Now, say you want to make this look a little bit prettier. I, I'm going to show you how to do that inside of OBS, inside of OBS only right here. It's really, really easy, really, really cool. Get you some, some animation and some lines to go on top and the bottom of that. So if, if that's all you came here for and that's all you wanted to see, then there you go. You now have chat. But instead, I'm going to show you how to get... Um, get some some good lines over here and and to really spruce it up. So what we do? Twelve minutes. Got that in twelve minutes. All right. I'm good with that. I'm good with that. Here we go. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna create a new scene. This new scene is gonna be called gradient uh, create gradient source. Okay, gradient source. Now on OBS there is a it's on my web page. So if you go to this web page in this this whole description of stuff, if you just go to did I add it in here? I didn't add it in here. I'll add it on this page, but for now, I'm just going to show you how I found it. It is just OBS gradient, and then that is going to be the gradient source. So you just download this. Um, very easy to download and add. It, it will then add a new source option in OBS called gradient. So to get to that, after you install it, make sure you restart OBS, click the plus button, and now you have the option for gradient. So this gradient we're going to call... Um, Gradient uh, pink green because that's that's the colors that I'm going to use right here. Okay, so we're going to select our first color. Comes up already gradient. We're going to select this pink. Say okay. The next color we're going to click here and select the green. That's the green I like, and we click okay. And that is one of the gradient sources that you need to make this whole thing work. We're going to click on transform, edit transform. And then you're going to make the size half of it. Make make the uh, make the width shrink it down. So 1920 divided by two is 960. Leave the height the same. That doesn't really affect this at all. And then we just want to copy this source, and we're going to paste a duplicate of this source. So now it's pink green two. On this pink green two, I'm going to right click on it on that source, transform, and we're going to rotate it 180 degrees. And then you just slide that on over to the right and you now have a full screen of, of that magic. The next thing we're gonna do is we're going to apply a scrolling filter to the full source. So right now I'm just going to right click on the scene, gradient source, and I'm going to say filters. In filters, we hit the plus button, and then we're gonna say scroll, and it could be called str scroll, and then I'll, I'll make this go to the left here, uh, let's say, come on, click. Here we go to, uh, I don't know, 377, sure. 377 sounds great. So go back into your tutorial page now, and you can add that scene as a source. Click the plus button, click on scene, select the gradient source, okay? And now you have this, it looks kind of fugly, right? Um, let's make this easier for you. Right click on this source, click transform, 
edit transform and we want to make the size of this like five point font so if the height is 1080 let's crop the top down by 1075 okay now we click close and you can click on this source right here this this new source and you can click not on the red line oh come on stop moving on me there we go move it on down and there you go put place that right there drop it down with your your mouse a little bit or with your your keyboard bring that back up here okay so now you can see there is a moving gradient line you see how that works right there we're just going to again take this scene right click copy and we're going to paste a reference that's fine so now it's the second one is down here we're gonna we're gonna take the second one where are you at there we go come on click on it click on it you can get it there we go drag that one on up and if you're happy with them both moving in the same direction then you could stop right here you're good what i like to do is take this second gradient source i'm going to right click on it i'm going to click transform and then i'm going to rotate 180 degrees so you are left with uh with this magic i'm going to do a window projected screen so you can see this a little bit larger is that working there we go let's make this bigger and and there is your um, your new OBS chat overlay screen. With chat coming in and out, you've got some nice little gradient colors. And uh, thank you for watching. Please let me know how much you enjoyed this tutorial in the comments. I answer all comments. If you write a comment, I'm definitely coming in with a comment for you. So uh, definitely please, please comment. And um, there you go. You see it coming in on the bottom over there. Oh, made it a little bit too big. There we go. Bring it on up here. And everything that you come in now, all this text, just, a, just another example, another example. And the chat comes through on the bottom just like that. So you've cleared up so much real estate and you made it look really pretty. And I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, then please like and subscribe. Um, and, and stay tuned for more and more fun OBS uh, stuff. That's all I got for now. I'm DJ LaFave. Out.